Ah, I love to relax in the garden after a long day of work. Hear how peaceful it sounds? But what if I told you I'm not telling you the whole truth? What if the garden sounded like this? It's amazing how the sounds we don't want can easily be removed from our audio. And in this video, I'll show you how to do it. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. So here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro with my audio. Now there is so much we can do right here in Adobe Premiere Pro, but if you want to really work on noise reduction, sound removal, all that good stuff, you really need to get over into Adobe Audition. But there is a basic effect we can do, and I'm going to show it to you now. So the original file with me talking here at the start contains quite a lot of background noise already. There, you can already hear it, lots going on there. So what we need to do is change our workspace up here in the top right and go from editing, as I am right now, to audio over here. This will give us a whole load of awesome effects and stuff that we can put on each track. And all I need to do is go into my audio track mixer here, top left, show and hide effects, boom. And we're on audio track one here for the uh, piece I'm working on right now. We simply go into the first effect selection slot and we look for noise reduction restoration and we add denoise to the whole track. So that means anything on audio track one gets denoise and it's an excellent effect. Let's show you how it works. It's just a dial here from zero. So if we play it at zero, no change. And if we start fading it up as I play back, you'll hear the noise just fades out. Look at that, it's, it's kind of like magic, isn't it? It just faded the noise away there. Obviously at 100%, it's going to affect my speech as well, make it sound a bit robotic. Ah, I love to relax in the garden after a long day of work. Although that's not too bad, switch it off. Hear how peaceful it sounds. And the noise is back, switch it up and the noise is fading away. So we need to get a sweet spot. I'd say probably around 35% is pretty good. Let's set it around 35%. Ah, I love to relax in the garden after a long day of work. And there it is working away. how peaceful away. it sounds. And we can actually play back again and we can switch the effect on and off to hear the difference. Ah, I love to relax in the garden after a long day of work. Hear how peaceful it sounds. That's it on. And this is it off. So you can hear it's making a dramatic difference, but we don't want to stop there. We've got other noises and effects we really want to get rid of from this video. So that's why I'm going to push you over into Adobe Audition. And if you're working with just one simple uh, dialogue track, simple even dialogue track, <laughs> get it right, Mike. Uh, we'll go to uh, the edit menu and we'll look for the possibility to edit in Adobe Audition. Okay, we can edit the clip or the sequence. In this case, it's all one single clip on audio track one. So I'm just going to say edit the clip. Boom, it renders it out. And wow, there it is already here in Adobe Audition. Now this looks really confusing. So I'm just going to switch off some of the settings and show you how I get it to look all magical like that. So usually when you import a clip here into Adobe Audition, you will get something that looks like that. It's a waveform. It represents how loud or quiet your your audio is. It also shows you in between the speech there's a lot of noise because you can see it represented there when that should really be silent. If there was no noise there, it would look something like that, like a flat line, okay? But we got noise that we're going to fix. So we need a few things available to us. First is spectral frequency display. It's up here, uh, up near the top left, show spectral frequency display, shift and D to get it enabled. Woo! Okay, we can see a whole bunch of stuff here. We can see uh, dialogue going on, but where there's no dialogue, we can see this kind of faded, kind of like, you know, black, purple, red, yellow. That ideally, again, if we're working with silence, and let's do this actually, let's go to uh, effects and silence. If it was silent, it would be black like that, okay? So we're aiming to get somewhere near that. Obviously in a garden, we don't want to completely eliminate the noise because, well, that wouldn't be good, would it? It would kind of detract from the sound and make it sound a little bit unnatural. So we can work on that. Um, so I'll show you, first of all, in the effects rack, what denoise is actually doing here in spectral, so you can see how spectral frequency works. We'll go to noise reduction restoration, exactly the same effect as over in Premiere, denoise, boom, and I'll set it exactly as it was, 35%. You can't see any change, but now if I click in the top right, this is the show preview editor option, you can see, wow, that spectral display has got a lot less colorful in between the speech. So denoise already affecting it. Let's listen with it on and then with it off. Much louder background noise there. You'll even see the levels meters. They go down. They're about minus 41 with it off. They're up at minus 30. Okay, so that's dramatic amount of noise reduction already. 
but we have other noises going on. Uh, let's start from the back and work our way uh, towards the start. So first of all, we got a little uh, bird tweeting here. And now this is why Spectral is so good. I'm going to switch off preview for a moment so we can see it nice and big. There is our bird tweeting. Video. 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 Okay, just on the edge of my speech, uh, it's tweeting away. Well, over here we've got a spot healing brush tool. The shortcut is B, and it only works in spectral. And basically, because I can see that bird tweeting, I can paint it out like photoshopping audio. All I got to do is just look for the bird tweet and just paint it out. See, it's kind of like content aware fill. Sometimes you have to do one, two, or three passes to really get rid of things. So again, I can see that that's the sound. And if you think this is just magic what I'm doing here, I can actually use this, the paintbrush tool, that's shortcut P, to actually paint and hold down shift to paint multiple bits. And I can listen to this just to make sure that is the bird that I'm getting rid of. There it is, okay. We've isolated the bird, but now we're gonna use spot healing to completely eliminate it or get rid of as much of that bird tweeting as we can, because obviously it's less than optimal. We don't want it there in our audio. I'm going to make this a bit bigger using the curly brackets. You can increase the size of the paintbrush there. Try and paint out every little bit of that bird. Sometimes it takes time. Obviously I'm gonna do it quite quickly just so I can show you. And sometimes you'll get extra frequencies up the top that you also need to paint over to really eliminate the full sound. And in this video. Oh, that bird's gone. Video. It's pretty much gone. Now, I could sit here for another five minutes and really eek the rest of that sound out, but that's how spot healing works. It's simple. Uh, now, you might have heard this police siren. Can easily be removed from our... That's a lot tougher. I can't just go ahead. Well, I could try and paint it out like this, you know, like I was doing the, the bird sound. It would probably do a decent... No, uh, hasn't really gone. Can easily be... Still there. So we need to bring out bigger guns. And for this, I'm going to highlight just one cycle of that police siren. You can see it nice and clear there in spectral. And I'm going to go to effects, noise reduction, restoration. We're going to go for the sound remover. And then I'm going to set everything to default. So we're working with the default settings. And I'm going to learn the sound model here of the police siren. Look how it's already gone in the preview mode. Now, if I select everything here that contains the police siren, let's move this out of the way and play back can easily be removed from our audio. And oh my goodness, that is amazing. So with it off, it sounds like this can easily be removed from our audio. And with sound remover on, and of course we've taught it the sound model, can easily be removed from our audio. And in this- It's pretty much gone, hasn't it? Do make sure enhance for speech is ticked. Sometimes it's not. If it's off, it'll make you sound like a robot. So I advise you tick that. You can always increase the sound model complexity a little bit can easily be removed from our audio. And that'll remove even more. And uh, you might want to just edge up the content complexity and the refinement passes as well. Can easily be removed from our audio. But that kind of brings it back in. So you might want to tweak with this. It's kind of like doing, you know, chroma key or, you know, green screen keying. Can easily be removed from our audio. And That's probably about right, actually. You want to just kind of get the right amount so you kind of green screened out your police siren but not got rid of the speech. So with it off can easily be removed from our audio. And With it on. Can easily be removed from our audio. Obviously, there's some artifacting going on, but remember, we've removed a siren from our audio, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we'll go over here again, something similar. It's amazing how the sound... We've got the, uh, the, the, the handsaw, or whatever it is, the hedge chopper <laughs> effects, noise reduction. We'll go for noise reduction process. We'll go for default settings here. Capture the noise print of just the handsaw. Okay, and we're trying to reduce that, so we'll reduce it by lots, turn the dB level up, turn the noise reduction level up. Okay, that's getting rid of it. Let's look at preview. Look at that. Now, how's that working on the speech? Is it decreasing the volume of the speech? It's amazing how the sounds we don't want. It's, it's done pretty well, but I can still hear that hand tool still there. So I'm just going to say, well, work on these frequencies. I can see the frequencies in the low end, 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K around here. So I'm increasing the noise reduction effect on those frequencies. It's amazing how the sounds we don't want. And remember with it off. It's amazing how the sounds we don't want. And with it on. It's amazing how the sounds we don't want. That might sound a little unnatural, so I might back off the noise reduction percentage a bit. It's amazing how the sounds we don't want. And even the reduce by a little bit too. It's amazing how the sounds we don't want. So we kind of got rid of that uh, hand tool. That also sounds a bit like a pneumatic drill. So you can do basic things like that. You can, again, go ahead and apply it. 
and we've already painted out so many sounds. So remember, we painted out the parrot, we sound removed the police siren, we noise reduced the hand tool, we used a bit of denoise over the whole track, and of course, don't forget... What if the garden sounded like this? Right there, we got a bit of wind rumble, and that, as you can see, if we go to the preview mode here, is happening right down here in the low end. Now, a number of ways to do this, but one of the easiest, peasiest ways of doing it is simply by going in and looking for filter and EQ in your effects rack. You can also do this over in Premiere, and you can bring in a parametric equalizer, default settings, switch on HP, high pass filter, and whack this up. Now, up at the top, you will see if we go to preview here, yes, it's eliminated the wind, but it's probably eliminated frequencies from my voice so not so great let's bring that down bring the wind back in what if the garden sounded and then let's bring it up what if the garden sounded and a bit more what if the garden sounded and you can see that it's starting to erase some of that wind what if the garden sounded it's also thinning out my voice so you kind of have to get this into a sweet spot what if the garden sounded so you've got some of the wind out let's listen to it before what if the garden sounded that's a lot of overpowering wind with the high pass filter what if the garden sounded and most of the wind gone that's got us most of the way. Then we can go ahead and, of course, we can spot heal again. What I'll do is I'll gra grab a big fat brush here, make it really big. Maybe not too big. I don't want to paint out too many of my, my speaking frequencies. This is going to kind of work down here on the low end. Just paint that out as much as we can. And that will start to, as you can see down here in the preview mode now, remove a lot of that wind. What if the garden sounded? Now, obviously, it's artifacted my voice a little bit, so maybe don't be so aggressive on that. Wind is a troublesome thing. Uh, I would advise using high-pass filter and a bit of spot healing. But if you really can't do it, Remember, it's always good to get the best audio at source. And while the tips I've given you in this video will work, do try and record with the best quality microphone you can. A lavalier mic is always good. A shotgun or directional mic so you're not picking up too much background noise. Always advised. If there's lots going on, use a handheld dynamic microphone or something like that. And of course, for wind noise, please, 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 please use a, like, a little wind sock over your boom arm or whatever. I think some people call it a dead cat or a cat dead. I don't know. I just don't know. If you know the real name, let me know in the comments. I think everyone calls it something different, right? Anyway, that is how you remove any background noise uh, from your video, from your audio. If you've got any questions, do let me know in the comments down below. If you've not done so already, check out musicradiocreative.com. This is where my team of 200 plus audio professionals can help you with voiceovers, radio jingles, DJ drops, podcast intros, music, ads, and much, much more. Music Radio Creative.com